Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your boy Ooch, and today we got some to unbox. And I'm not gonna lie, I uh, pre ordered this a long time ago, as in like a couple months ago, or like September, so it's like December now, so. And I totally forgot what it was, and then I was like, oh, bet! I totally forgot I ordered this. We got the SF30 Pro Bullet Bluetooth. I was about to say bullet tooth. Bluetooth gamepad, the 8 bit dough gamepad right here. So this works on the Switch, Windows, Android, Mac OS, and Steam. I bought this with the intention of using it on the Switch, so we're gonna test it on the Switch. But really quick, we're obviously gonna unbox this first, so that way you guys can see exactly what is in the box. It's very compact, kind of just push it out. Oh, and it's right there. Bam. What sold me on this was the fact that, one, it was wireless. Two, it looks like a Super Famicom controller. And you know your boy loves a Super Famicom controller. It really, it feels really nice. Yeah. Oh, it, oh wow, look at that. So, right off the bat, we have two shoulder buttons. The bumper and the shoulder right there. A start. So this might be like the home button. It'll act as the home button. This might be like the capture button. I'm, I'm assuming. Select start. Got the pairing. The USB connector, which is wow. This looks like it's really long. Um, let's unravel this one. All right. Oh, okay. No, it's not too long. It, it's about like three feet. It turned on. And it has nothing to pair to, so my switch is actually right next to me. And then it comes with little directions right here. Start plus Y to turn on the controller. LEDs will start to rotate from left to right. Press and hold pair for two seconds to enter pairing mode. LEDs will turn off for a second and start to rotate from left to right. Go to your switch homepage to click on controllers. Yep, so basically you're gonna have to do this first to configure it to the switch. You can use it for your Android phone, Windows devices, or Mac. So if I have any ROMs, or obviously if you're trying to play this John on Steam, you can still uh, use this controller. But for this purpose, we are going to use it for the Switch. It's taking a very long time to pair up. Even while being connected, I'm s it's still not showing up on my switch the f this is blinking right so it tells me to hit the sync button which is up on the top there right and you just hit that you hold it for two seconds and it's supposed to like you know go back and forth and on the switch it actually is not showing up at all not really sure it says hold y and start to turn it on and it's plugged in too so like i don't understand what the f problem is holding it down to pair now for longer see if that does anything yeah um don't really know about this one guys Fast forward, and I finally was able to pair it, as you can see right there, from the, the, the LED light, it's right there, it's green. Um, it successfully paired to my Switch. After I uh, had to go to the website and download a driver from their support link and basically update the controller. So one con to this, if you experience what I just experienced, is you won't have the luxury of just opening it out of the, straight out of the box and just playing, pairing it to your Switch and just using it as so. But right now, I mean, my intention of having this was to use it for like classic S games. So like, you know, Goro, the Mark of the Wolves, even like Sonic Mania. Probably use it well on Cave Story and my and probably even Street Fighter. Um, anything else, I probably wouldn't really use it on like Pokémon or Arms or anything like that. Definitely not Mario Odyssey, but hey, you probably could, but I wouldn't. Not gonna lie. <laughs> anything that really requires motion controls because it doesn't say if this actually does any kind of motion control. So um, yeah, let's just test this out see how it feels on uh, grow mark of the wolves and it's been a while since i played this so again it's just a test it's not sh to show my uh 
skill in this game because you know I have not played this genre in quite some time. Naturally, I would. I'm more of a fight stick kind of guy when it comes to fighters. But you know, I am just gonna test how it feels for you guys. Buttons are smooth enough. Oh wow, she's botting me right now. Inputs are coming out clean for the most part. I'm using the stick, obviously. If you can't already tell, I'll, I'll, I'll sit like on this, like on this angle, so that way you guys can see me. Hmm. Yeah, I mean it's not a bad controller for what it is. Oh, there goes the yeah. The super super came out when I wanted it to come out. All right, so yeah, this this passes. I'll give it a pass right there on the spot. Let's test the home button. Yep, this home button works. Simple as that. OBS. Uh, let's do Sonic Mania. Is there any other games you want me to try? Um, let me know in the comments. Well, first, see if I even have it in the first place. If not, you know, that... I don't know if I'll get it. <laughs> so, for this kind of game, I'm going to just use the D-pad. Yeah, I mean, feels like any other uh, Sonic game. Or, I mean, yeah. Oh, whoa. Oh, I forgot. I have, like, the invincibility job. Uh, there I go. Losing all my rings. I had a lot, too. Yeah, I mean... For what it is right now, the uh, this 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 feels really nice. It does sound a little clicky, I'm not gonna lie, but I mean that's not a big deal. Alright, so I'll use the stick for this portion. Now this part of Sonic Mania is actually very trippy as it is, so I'm not blaming the controller on that. You know what? Uh, just for testing sake, since I already have Pokken in the uh, in my Switch, I might as well go ahead and give it a try. Even though like I use Pokken Pad, um, and I and it wouldn't. And since I go to tournaments and I compete in Pokken. Uh, it probably would not be optimal for me to even attempt to use uh, a wireless controller, a wireless Bluetooth controller at that, like, as is. Let's try Pokin. Alright, well, at least I have Shandy on my team, so that way I'll actually be able to either flop with Lucario or, let's see. Okay. I just literally, I just did a uh, Hadouken input by accident. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't feel like terrible, even for Pokin. Get that E speed in. Yeah, even CADCing is not bad. How about the dashes? The dashes? The dashes? Oh, he has vibration. I totally didn't know that. Wow. Okay. This has this 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 John literally vibrated. I I swear to God, it just vibrated. Cool. So yeah, once you get this thing to work, I mean, it it's a nice controller. I mean, like I said, what sold me on it was the fact that it looked like a Super Famicom controller with the the analog sticks. One thing I do want to test is how it feels like holding uh, buttons down um, that you normally have to hold, so that way you get like another move uh, for the from the character's move list. Here we go. All right. So one thing I am noticing is that 
since this is so small, um, it's very hard to hold the button and then like try to yeah see because it's uh, probably because my hands pretty big too at the same time so ooh, that was tipper yeah like honestly it's when if you it, i i definitely i mean it's doable if you play characters that don't require you to have holding inputs unless you mapped it for another button that's the only way you could really make really good use of using this towards fighting games that require such unique inputs um other than that nah because right now like you see how like the the claw grip that i have right now it's like holding it in while control while trying to hit y and b and a and then like this button right here l normally i would have access to or arms wow or so i'd have access to um like you know canceling out or something like that but yeah like just like i have to like really reach around and then but i like i see like i let go of the input right there but again just for anything else like i would say i'd recommend uh using this on sh purely classic games anything that's like 2d and i probably would stay away from any types of games that require any kind of unique inputs where you have to like hold a button down that while you're still trying to play other, uh, hit other buttons and it might interfere, especially if you have big hands like this, like, this is big, how big my hand is and this is how, you know, big the controller fits in, in my hand right here. This controller goes for $49.99. Now, this is actually cheap if you are comparing it to this guy right here. This is actually the pro wireless controller that is on the Switch right now and this is actually a very, very good controller. Like, it's near perfect i would say the buttons feel nice the grip feels nice the freaking joysticks feel nice even the d-pad is not that bad the shoulder buttons bumper button there's all this is a beautifully designed controller um there's not too many color options right now unfortunately unless you get like a mod or anything like that but this goes for i think between 70 and 80 dollars right this is 30 less uh at least 30 less 50 bucks off amazon.com and i'm pretty sure it's the same price uh off of their website if you were to buy it natively like that i am aware of there being receivers so that you can actually use this on your SNES Classic, if I'm not mistaken, or that might be a similar, another controller by the same company that literally uh, made an exact like version of this, but for the SNES Classic. I'm not too sure on that one, but um, this controller, what I've used it on so far, it's not bad. It's it's responsive. It works. The 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 switch unique buttons do work. Um, on cue, I just took a, a snapshot of my home screen. There was no delay, so everything on you know face value works. But I will say it was kind of annoying to for the initial setup. Like I said at the beginning of the video, you, you cannot expect to use this right out of the box and have it work on your Switch. You have to update it with the drivers that they provide on the website. So if you guys are watching this video in hopes that you can find the solution if you're having the same issues as me, I'll definitely include a link directly to the support website so that way you can download the drivers from them 8-bit dough gamepad company so that way you can you know it's and it's very 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 easy to update it so that being said guys this controller it gets a pass i'll give it an average at best what sold me was like i said was this right here i'm a huge fan of super famicom so having this a wired wireless version would definitely suit my aesthetic needs and then you know once i you know, if i ever do get more classic games which I most likely will be in the future on my Switch because this, this system is amazing. I will pro most likely have this on deck for me to use and, you know, use it up. But if there's any other questions, concerns, comments, let me know in the in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe, hit me up on Twitter. Let me know what you guys thought about this in the Discord, especially on my Discord. Make sure to follow me on Twitch so that way you guys can talk to me about this while I play some games. And support the boys, support the boy, and the dream on the Patreon page. And I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, if you like this video, please consider checking out my other stuff I do plenty more reactions to and other fun videos. Subscribe as always, and please check out my Patreon page. And I'll see you guys in the next video.